Hey everybody, we're out here at Inwood. I'm doing the long awaited test for me of this Rapsodo MLM launch monitor. Haven't had a chance to do it outside, so let's get to it. Hey everybody, Scott Oden coming at you. We're here, we're at my home course here, Inwood Golf Course, where I teach out of, and we are gonna be doing some tests of this Rapsodo launch monitor. And I haven't had a chance to use this outside. I know quite a few people that have, and they do say, give it some really good reviews. So I'm excited to give it a go here and see what we can get with it. Now we do have more coming up with more launch monitors. We do have the full swing kit coming. Also gonna have some more tips and drills to use your launch monitor. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Don't miss out on any of those future videos. All right, so this Rapsodo MLM launch monitor, again, we've tested it indoors and I thought it was a pretty good unit. It is very, very cost effective. It's under $500. So this is gonna be in that price range of your regular flight scope Mevo. You're also gonna be in the price range of the swing caddies, things like that, right? So you have to remember what you're getting for the price, okay? That's the first thing we have to take into account. All right, we're gonna have this launch monitor that is going to cost not a lot of money, and it's going to give us some pretty good data, I would say, especially on the short end of the bag. So what are the things I'm looking for again when I'm testing these launch monitors? Well, what I use them for is I teach, I teach a lot of juniors, so I wanna see the shots get red. That's gonna be number one. Number two is gonna be the ease of setup being able to get this thing up and running quickly have very few issues with connectivity things like that because again i have to keep my attention on my students and also you know what if i'm out here practicing on my own i just don't want to be messing around with trying to get everything set up so that's going to be number two and then number three is obviously accuracy how accurate is the unit and again we'll talk about that as we go through for that price range as we're going so number one does it pick up shots? All right, so we just hit a bunch of shots here, did some irons, did some drivers, and it read every single one of the shots. Now it does read off the data to you. I think it's something where it could be a little annoying if you were on the range, but you can turn that off. So you can actually see the data pretty well, and there is a dark mode and there is a sunlight mode. So you should be able to see your data fairly easily, no matter what the conditions are outside. So it picks up the shots for me, that is a big, big plus because when I'm using these devices, I would use this device amongst a bunch of students. That's where I would have this out. If I wanted to have four or five people hitting at the same time, I wanna have a couple of these out. I wanna make sure it's working because if all of them are struggling, then I gotta go set them all up or work on them and that's not gonna be ideal. Plus my students are gonna be like, hey, what the heck's going on? So this is getting that point because it did read every single shot that we hit. Now, number two is ease of setup. This is probably the easiest launch monitor that is up there that I have tried. The Mevo is a close second, but I would say this takes the cake because it connects very simply. The bad part about it is you do have to have like your phone set up to, you know, or some sort of device for it to read off the numbers, but that's the same with the Mevo. You know, that's why I'm kinda on some of these monitors, it's like, all right, do I really wanna do that? But you are gonna be able to use a device, have it set up, it's really quick. It's just a matter of opening this thing up, turning it on, and then once I turned it on and turned on the phone app, I mean, it was instant. It was ready to go, everything was connected. So then you just set it up and then you let it go. It doesn't even have to be that accurate of a setup because we're really just getting our distances of how far the ball's going, what's the speed, what is that launch angle. So you're not gonna have a left right here on the outdoor mode. You know, you're obviously gonna just pay attention to the left and right that you're hitting as you're hitting your shots. So. It does do a very good job. It's a, probably the fastest and easiest one that I've used as far as setup. All right, so now we come to accuracy. So when we get to these cheaper units, one of the big trade-offs that you're gonna have is even though this is a radar unit, right? It's tracking the flight of the ball. There is a trade-off of how far does it track. So you can tell that this does not track all the way out because it's reading the data off to you before the ball is even landing. So Distance is 220 yards. Ball speed is 151 miles per hour. Launch angle is 8.0 degrees. That's the trade-off with these cheaper units is you are going to get maybe 100 yards of ball flight before it just calculates it the rest of the way out. So how is that good and how is that bad? Well, it's good, you know, it's nice and quick. And on the short end of the bag, which is where I think this is the most valuable anyway, you're gonna get really, really accurate numbers. 
But as you start going farther and farther out with the driver, it was definitely getting a little weird with how far that ball's carrying. It was saying, you know, 250 sometimes. It was saying 220, 230. Uh, you know, not what I would say it is, but again, you have to think about what is it doing. It's tracking that yardage and then it's trying to take it the rest of the way. But the golf ball that you're using, if you're using a range ball, that ball is slowing down and it's slowing down in a hurry because flighted range balls are meant to do that. So I would say on the long end of the bag, you might get a little bit with your ball speed. I found my ball speed down just a touch because again, the golf ball I have to use, that's not a fault of the unit. I would say that's more the case of, hey, we're not using the most high quality range balls, but you have to take that into account with the driver. So if, you, if I was out here, I'm not gapping my driver a whole lot anyway. I'm just trying to smash it and hit it relatively straight. So I'm not really trying to say, all right, hey, I need to know how far it goes, but if you need an idea of like, hey, could I carry trouble? You know, that would be something that you would need it for. And you might not be able to do it. The better thing to do would be to shoot something out there on the range with a laser and just see if you can carry it and see, kind of give it a guess of how far you carried it by. So that would be kind of the best way to do it. But short end of the bag, where I would love this, go to town. This is perfect. It was very, very good. It matched up with other launch monitors. We had a couple out here trying them out. Thought it did excellent. So on that short end, this could be a great tool and a great investment and one that we use all the time with our advanced players, our competitive players as we're trying to get better. So if you have any questions about it, let me know this Rapsodo MLM. I think it's a great investment. I think you definitely can get better. If you're not going for any of the higher end, you're just looking for something to gap some short yardages and some of the iron yardages, this is a great tool and something that a little bonus, it does help you film your swing. It has a very, very easy way using your phone to film your swing. So again, you can get some great feedback using the device that way as well. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.